Let us consider case 1 in which normal level of hyperactivated MYC production is occurring in a normal cell. This MYC protein acts as mitogenic stimulation. At this normal level of hyperactivated MYC production, the active MDM2 protein is bound to P53 protein. This bound active MDM2 protein promotes P53 protein degradation. Now, let us consider case 2 in which excessive hyperactivated MYC production is occurring in an experimentally induced normal cell. This excessive level of hyperactivated MYC production often leads to the production and activation of ARF. This ARF is a cell cycle inhibitor protein. This activated ARF then binds to the active MDM2 protein bound to P53 protein. This activated ARF binding then separates active MDM2 from the P53 protein. Due to this separation, two things generally occur. The first one is the conversion of active MDM2 to inactive MDM2 and the second one is the conversion of inactive P53 protein to stable active P53 protein. Depending on the cell type and extracellular conditions, stable active P53 protein then causes either cell cycle arrest or apoptosis. Please like, subscribe and share.